this is all the elites, man, the Rothschilds, you know. It's ultimately Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's prophecy that's gonna happen. But this is when he's gonna start start more stir more tensions and more more um tensions between the nations, man. You know, and it's also it's first and foremost is the prophecies, man. Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. So this is stirring up Esau. Esau got excited when uh Eagle Face Trump said that. Esau's like, yeah, that's right. He's been saying what we've been feeling this whole time. And now these Israelite celebrities, they're responding to Trump. Which is all the show anyway, man. It's to really to rouse the sheeple up, man. That's really what it is, man. What's up with y'all people? Uh, just giving y'all a little bit more in-depth insight about my tweet uh, from earlier. Um... You know, I think it's basically at a point where I'm kind of you know, just a little frustrated, man. Just uh, because this guy that we've um, put in charge has, has tried to divide us once again. And obviously, we all know what happened with Charlottesville and, and, and the divide that that caused. And, and now it's even hitting more home for me now even more because he's now using um, sports as the platform to try to divide us. And, and um, we all know how much sports brings us together, um, how much passion it has, how much we love and care, and you know the friendships and everything that it creates. And for him to try to use this platform to divide us even more, um, it's not something I can stand for, and it's not something I can be quiet about. Um, you know, you just, you look at him. See, but the most high is bringing the vision. The most high is bringing that division, man. Matthew 24 and 6. I'm going to read that again. I'm going to start at 7. For nations shall... As a matter of fact, I have 6. Salakia. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that, ye be not, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And they shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Nations shall rise against nation, man. So the Most High is bringing this division, man. He's bringing this division, man. Jacob and Esau was never meant to get together, man, and come together in peace. The Lord say, in, in you, in, in you, in your womb, I shall have two nations, man. Separate nations, man. And Jacob going to grab Esau's heel. That's why Esau's empire is going down and the kingdom to come. The 12 tribes of Israel are going to rule under the king of kings, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, who's coming back to restore the kingdom back to Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and those lost sheep that descend back to those 12 tribes, man, that are scattered in the four corners of the earth. So the Most High is bringing that division. I'm kind of asking, you know, the NFL owners to, to get rid of players off the field because uh, they're, you know, exercising their rights, and, and that's not right. And then, you know, when I wake up, I see that, you know, a colleague of mine has been uninvited of something that he said he didn't even want to go to in the first place. Um, so you know, set up. White House. Um, you know, that's just something I can't stand for, man. And we got, you know, you know, Jamil Hill and Colin Kaepernick and, you know, all these people are speaking up and, you know, it's for the great of cause. It's for, it's for us to all come together. It's not about a division. It's not about divide. We, as American people, need to actually just come together even more stronger, man, because this is a very critical time, and me being a, in the position I am, I had to voice this to y'all, so 